Hey guys, Lydos here, and this is my latest collection update. Um, like I said before, uh, a couple of months ago, I was just waiting till I get some Beyblade Metal Master stuff before I make another collection. So since I did, let's just get started. You'll notice that I don't have all of my launches and rip. Well, all of my launches here. I just want to show you guys because uh, it, it takes a long time for me to remove everything from the from the the draw drawer or whatever you want to call it and put it on my bed and then put it back after I'm done so since most of this stuff stays under my bed or right over there um, it, uh, it's just easier for me this way so let's just get started over here we have our my uh, string launchers and my rev up launcher I still have to fix this I lost the the, uh, the screwdriver uh, for me to fix it. Uh, I do have this kind. I just need the other one so I can turn the inside the engine. Then we have this uh, metallic one. Um, and you'll notice that over here I only have my special launchers. Uh, my special rip uh, ripcord launchers. This came from the uh, Pegasus. I mean the uh, Super Vortex. And the reason why this is uh, green it's because I uh, put it over here and that's the only reason why this is here is because I customized it to be the Brazilian flag colors which is my country's flag and that was my phone um, uh, I got a text message from my friend anyway so yeah and that's the only reason why this is here and why this is uh, green uh, we've got the uh, El Drago ripcord launcher with ripcord uh, Super Vortex one. We've got a regular El Drago's ripcord and launcher. Then we've got well, not yet. I want to say the metal. You know what? Whatever. Since we're already here, we've got the triple battle set Pegasus with its launcher and rip with its ripcord. I really like this a lot. We've got the triple battle set El Drago with its ripcord and I really like this one a lot we've got my battle pegasus is, um, galaxy pegasus launcher and ripcord I'm not too sure if that's its ripcord though probably since it's not as bent um, then we've got my collection pegasus how do I know because I am um, I, p I put the box in order and I was as I was putting the boxes I put them all in a row. We've got Thermal Lacerda and its launcher and ripcord and we've got Ray Striker and its ripcord. Um, let's move on to battle weight ripcords. Here we've got some ripcords and these are just like uh, rubber bands but not as thick and not as rubbery but I just use them to hold my ripcords so that they're not scattered all over the place. This is my original Dragoon Dragon Ripcord, the long one. Uh, so yeah, and then we've got Blacks and uh, Legend series. And I believe that this one here might be my Sagittario one. I'm not too sure. Um, all right, let's move on to battle gear. I've got a couple of battle gears. Uh, not much yet. Why is this here? And let's just sorry. All right. Um, so with battle gears, it could be anything from a small box to a compass, actually. Um, so, actually, these here are all battle gears, but I mean Beyblader gears. Um, I like to call these stuff, like launchers and stuff, uh, battle gears, because you use them in battle. And accessories like this, Beybladers gears, because the, cause the blader uses them. Um, I've got bra Brazzle to clean and polish my fusion wheels. I've got the Rapid Deploy case. I've got the Sagittario Value Pack launcher grip. I've got the uh, standard launcher grip. I'm still looking for the uh, metallic silver one. I've got the Angle Compass Hasbro version that came with the uh, custom grip. 
did I say that over there is a custom grip? I meant the uh, grip, sorry. If I said any of the regular grips as custom grip, I meant grip. Um, so we've got the custom grip here. Then we've got the... Uh, uh, I forgot the name of this. What is it? Uh, uh, bay case. I forgot. Um, tournament case. Tournament... Ah, forget it. We've got the case that came with the Rock Scorpio. And then we've got the uh, Metal Fusion rulebook. And we've also got the Metal Masters rulebook, which feels thinner. We've also got the boxes right over here. Now, in each of these boxes, I keep their launchers, not their rip cords, because the rip cords won't fit in here if it's fully straightened out. But I keep their instruction sheet and launcher and tool and sometimes themselves just to save space so all of them are just like that I've got my tournament grids this one here is from Metal Fusion and this here is from Metal Masters um oh right in this I use uh, to keep spare parts this, this was um an earphone thingy where I could put my earphone in it but since I never used it I used it for something better and here's where I keep my collection um, Rock Scorpio in. These are just some character cards that I've got to uh, still upload their code. I mean, bay cards, since there's no more characters. In that little black bag, I also keep um, the parts for the Rev Up Launcher. So if I ever take it to the tournament, I have to put that back because the modification is illegal. And yeah, um, now in here is the triple, the Super Vortex, uh, El Drago, and the Galaxy thing, and I'm and Storm Pegasus thing. So I keep them in here just for safekeeping. Um, in these three, I keep um, the game Cyber Pegasus and the game Counter Leon just for safekeeping. And in here I keep the special edition Galaxy Pegasus and New Deal El Drago, just for safekeeping. Um, let's get to the stadiums before I move on to the final stuff. So, oh, and I had no other place to put my Radikai stuff, so I just um, quickly shoved them aside because I have to make the uh, reviews for the triple battle set and the three bays that I got from Metal Masters anyway again just give Redekai a shot and um, so far in one day I had a ton of cards and on the second day I counted and it turns out I have over a hundred and a hundred and forty cards already so yeah just give Redekai a shot and just please ignore this for right now um, so I've got the uh, Super Vortex, a very nice stadium for uh, fast battles. We've got the uh, Triple Battle set. I love this stadium. I don't know why. It's for me. It's better than the Triple Battle set, and it's better than the El Drago. Um, but the only thing I hate is that when the base hit it. On the walls on any stadium actually they make a huge noise and that's what I hate about the uh, the stadiums every single stadium is like that though we've got the cores uh, can someone please tell me the names of each of these cores because I really don't know I think that this is the chaos core I'm not sure so please tell me and then we've got the El Drago stadium which is actually a pretty good stadium. I only bought it for more battles and launching more bays at once. Because if I were to do that on this, my original stadium, it would have been a huge noise and the neighbors would have been complaining a lot. So that's the only reason why I got that. And my house is on the top floor and I usually battle my bed. But the neighbors can still complain because it's, it it's all metal and this is plastic and it's going to keep on making that noise. Anyway, um, right. 
Uh, for ignore that, that's just my bag. I um, mean, my luggage. I still need to unpack though. Um, oh yeah, and I am not going to Chicago yet because of the um, Hurricane Irene. I'll get more on that later. So this is where I keep all my launchers, tools. I didn't feel like taking out uh, this dark bowl yet. I just like to leave him here. This is that one that I had never unopened. I mean, unscrewed. But I had to. So... Actually, I think that this is my regular bowl. I'm not sure. No, no, it's that that certain bowl. Here's my classic base. Their launchers, uh, the HMS launcher. Alright. So yeah, I'm not going to Chicago now because of the Hurricane Irene. Um, well, since my aunt works in American Airlines, she's gonna see if I can go on Wednesday or not. Um, so. That's why I'm making these videos now. Uh, so anyway, let's get on to the best part of this collection, the base. We're going to start all the way from the top, all the way down to the bottom. Dark Wolf. Hyper Aquario. Storm Aquario. Torch Aries. Rock Aries. Midnight Bull. Dark Bull. Night Virgo. Uh, Earth Virgo. Infernal Sagittario. Flame Sagittario, uh, and that ends the Legend series, sort of. You'll see what I mean by sort of in a little bit. In a little bit. Then we got Earth Eagle, Thermal Pisces, uh, Fury Capricorn. I don't have Storm Capricorn, so that's why he's not up there. Um, Flame Libra, and I don't have Thunder Libra yet. So far, he's the rarest Beyblade to find. Um, Evil Genios, Poison uh, Serpent. Dark Gasher, uh, Burn Fireblaze, Thermal Lacerda, Ray Striker, my collection Rock Scorpio, my favorite Bay Rock Scorpio, and he's actually my strongest out of all of these. Um, we've got the uh, DS game Counter Leon, Counter Leon Legend, Counter I mean Rock Leon. Um, El Drago, El Drago Super Vortex, Meteor El Drago Triple Battle Set, Cyber Pegasus, um, Storm Pegasus, Galaxy Pegasus Battle 1, Cyber Pegasus Game Version, Storm Pegasus uh, Super Vortex, Galaxy Pegasus Collection, Galaxy Pegasus uh, Triple Battle Set, and that's my collection. Oh no, wait, wait, um... There's still one more thing I have to add to this collection. Since it's a little bit big. My Bay Box. I've showed this before. Um, I made it myself. And all these things here, as you can see, is pretty much glued on. So, yeah, it's all glued on. I have to re-glue some stuff, but whatever. Um, in here I have some character cards, it's sort of like my bay locker, but whatever. Some stickers that came with the stuff. Um, in here I keep, um, the tournament grids and the rule books, and the character cards as well. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this collection video. Make sure you guys watch the review on, um, Galaxy Pegasus. Thermal Lacerda, Ray Striker, and the Triple Battle Set. All in that order. Uh, thank you, and, uh, well, oh, and I also got some other stuff, uh, yesterday when I went to Toys R Us, but I'll show you guys that in Galaxy Pegasus review. Actually, no, since I'm going to be comparing it against these three, I'll just show it in Ray Striker, I mean Thermal Lacerda's review, later.